All right, folks. Say what you want about me, the content that I make, the things that I like, what I look like, any of that. One of the things that I believe in is just do the right thing. I I believe that being honest and being transparent is maybe one of the most important things you could possibly be when it comes to anything business related. Even if it's not directly business related, if if somebody doesn't like you because you're rude or you do this or you're that, that's one thing, but there can't be any room for any type of discussion if there's no honesty. Now, I have been for the longest time um, talking up a platform known as CocoScope. Um, they're basically a direct rival to YouTube. And one of the big draws to that platform is the fact that they do, one of the things that they do so different than YouTube is they're very supposedly they're very quick to contact you if there's any sort of issue um, it's a smaller platform so it makes more sense that they're able to do that sort of thing but here on their main page it says clear content rules you don't have to worry about your videos suddenly being removed because you didn't follow some vague community guidelines I'm gonna get to that in a second also says instant monetization no need to wait for us to approve you create your account and you're ready for business false i have i have a coco scope channel it's Aris thanewood and i've had it for a little while now but um you have to have earned a minimum of 100 dollars before you're available for any type of payout Verification code will be sent only when you have reached the $100 payout minimum. That's not instant, but that's not what this video is about. Um, I recently put out a video on the CocoScope channel about something that was essentially my fault. It was uh, a rule that I didn't quite understand and I was inadvertently breaking it. So. Uh, basically, any explicit content you upload to CocoScope has to be put under what's called a um, exclusivity thing. So if anyone wants to see it, they have to adopt your channel, which is essentially something similar to Twitch's um, subscription. Uh, the owner of the channel can set how much money it costs to adopt a channel. I had it set to the absolute minimum because when I first started the CocoScope channel, I wanted to make it clear that um, support was appreciated, but never required. But with knowing now that some of my content had to be put behind the exclusivity thing, it means that you'd have to pay to see some of the content. So basically my video was saying, Hey, I'm not trying to scam anybody. I'm not trying to hide anything. Um, this was a rule that I was breaking and any changes made to the channel wasn't on purpose. You know, I, I was trying to be transparent. It's like, hey, this is what's going on. I, it's something that I have to do. It's nobody's fault. Um, and then I received uh, a message from somebody else who has a Coco Scope channel. Very, very popular channel called Naked Walkthrough. Um, they were basically saying that. Um, not to really worry about that, that it wasn't a big deal and I didn't have to change all of my content to the adopters only. Um, the owner of CocoScope, her name is Piper, Piper Blush, um, had never contacted him about this. It's not a big problem. I, you know, keep doing what I'm doing. And I, I, I appreciated that because I was kind of freaking out as to what I was going to do moving forward. In the process of receiving messages from this person, however, um, their entire channel was completely deleted. In fact, I have it here. They were, they were actually asking me to check um, one of the options on their channel. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take a look at it. But 
I was going through the website and I couldn't find their channel. I couldn't find any of their videos. And I was like, what's, what's going on with that? I messaged them. Uh, I said, suddenly I can't find your channel. Did you change the name or something? And that is when on a different account, they told me, uh, that their entire account was deleted without any messages about anything, just deleted, no comment. All of their revenue was gone. And yeah. Uh, this channel had 200 and eight, more than 280,000 views total. Their their channel dwarfed mine, which is why it meant so much to me that they reached out to give me the advice when, you know, I learned about, you know, my own inadvertent rule breaking. Um, they've been making two videos a day ever since 2020. I don't, I don't really know. I was not expecting this. And I, I, I understand that a lot of people are like, well, it wasn't your channel, so it's not really your problem. But, you know, standing by while this sort of thing happens is, it's not me. That's not me. It's not, it doesn't, it's not what I stand for. If, if it can happen to him or them, I'm sorry, I, I don't actually know male or female, but if it can happen to them, it can happen to me and it can happen to you. And I've been talking up this platform on Twitter on Twitch, on PlexStorm, in Discord servers, all over the place, because it was advertised as uh, a censorship-free place where you could create your content without fear of it getting deleted. And here it is, somebody who's gone out of their way to help me having their entire channel deleted. So... I, I really do take this sort of thing personally. If you were thinking about signing up for a CocoScope channel, or if you have a CocoScope channel, be aware that this sort of thing is still a problem, unfortunately. Now, I actually knew a little bit about Piper uh, before she created CocoScope because, you know, I mean, I wasn't subscribed to her on YouTube or anything, but I was familiar with what she does. She does um, try on... Uh, try on videos basically piper blush for you know different bikinis swimsuits outfits and stuff like that and basically youtube had done what youtube does um age restricted videos that probably didn't need to be demonetization this that the whole whole shebang so she went and cr she created cocoscope saying that things were going to be different and here we are and things are no different now I understand that it's it's her her site, even if it's not directly managed by her. So whatever rules she sets up, we have to follow. But the important thing is that you follow the rules that you set in place. You have it on your front page that your content won't be deleted without any notification. And I I didn't it, it happened in a single day of everything with both of our channels being fine to his channel, his or her channel is suddenly completely gone. Now, if this was some sort of mistake, fix it and I'll do an update video. I'll run everything I said back, but just be aware that this is just straight up false advertising and I will let everybody I can know about what happened. Uh, that's really all I had to say about this. I, I don't even know. I mean, if you know of another platform that doesn't have this issue, please let me know in the comments below or on Twitter. Um, I'll have as much information as I can in uh, the description in the comment section on my Twitter. I'll probably end up doing an update video on this situation in the future because I, I went out of my way to make this more of a hobby thing. I've never received any money from Cocoscope, Twitch, or YouTube, not a dime.
But I know that for a lot of people who put a lot of work into this, it is their career. And it just sucks that somebody can just take that away. All of that hard work, all of that time, all of that investment for no reason and get away with it. But if I have anything to do, they won't get away with it. I'm going to raise some noise about this if, if possible. And I think that you should too, because it's the right thing to do. All right, that's it.